In today's funny story joke, we're about to unravel a tale so packed with twists and turns, you'll feel like you're on an emotional roller coaster with a flat tire. Picture this. Three famous writers, a skyscraper hotel, and a set of broken elevators. What could possibly go wrong? Grab your popcorn and hold on to your hats, because this is one story you won't want to miss. Stay tuned until the end of the joke. It was the Roaring Twenties, a time when jazz filled the air and literary giants roamed the streets of New York City. The city was a buzzing hive of creativity and innovation, with writers, poets, and artists flocking to its vibrant neighborhoods. Among them were three close friends, Jack, Eddie, and Carl. These men were not just writers, they were wordsmiths who could weave tales that left audiences in stitches, trembling in fear, or reaching for a tissue. Jack was renowned for his side-splitting comedies, the kind that could make even the sternest of critics burst into laughter. Eddie, on the other hand, was a master of spine-chilling horror, crafting stories that haunted readers long after they turned the final page. And then there was Carl, whose deeply moving tragedies could touch the coldest of hearts. Together, they were an inseparable trio, their camaraderie and contrasting styles the talk of the literary world. The Hotel Dilemma. After a day filled with panel discussions, book signings, and lively debates at the annual writing convention, the three friends were ready to unwind. They returned to their luxurious hotel, a towering skyscraper that offered a breathtaking view of the Manhattan skyline. They had booked a three-bedroom suite on the 75th floor, anticipating a night of relaxation and celebration after their successful day. However, fate had other plans. As they approached the reception desk, the receptionist greeted them with an apologetic smile. I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but all the elevators are broken. In the meantime, you'll have to take the stairs. The writers groaned in unison. Seventy-five floors stood between them and their beds. The idea of climbing all those stairs after a long day seemed daunting, to say the least. The plan. Determined to make the best of a bad situation, Jack proposed a plan. Let's make this climb less tedious. I'll tell funny stories from floors 1 to 25, Eddie can share his scariest tales from 26 to 50, and Carl can wrap it up with his saddest stories from 51 to 75. Eddie and Carl agreed, appreciating the opportunity to showcase their storytelling skills while making the climb more bearable. And so, with a shared sense of adventure, they began their ascent. Floors 1 to 25, Jack's Comedies. As they started their climb, Jack regaled his friends with hilarious anecdotes and witty one-liners. He spoke of a hapless explorer who mistook a penguin for a butler and a playwright who accidentally set his script on fire during a live performance. His stories were filled with colorful characters and absurd situations that had Eddie and Carl laughing uncontrollably. By the time they reached the 25th floor, their spirits were high and their sides ached from Jack's comedic brilliance. The laughter had made the first part of their journey almost effortless. Floors 26 to 50, Eddie's Horrors. Now it was Eddie's turn. He launched into tales of haunted mansions, eerie apparitions, and sinister plots. He described a ghost ship that sailed the Atlantic, crewed by the spirits of lost sailors, and a cursed book that drove its readers mad. His stories were so vivid and chilling that the stairwell seemed to grow darker with each step. As they climbed higher, the atmosphere grew tense. Shadows seemed to flicker ominously on the stairwell walls, and every creak of the steps sent shivers down their spines. Eddie's mastery of suspense and horror had transformed their climb into a nerve-wracking adventure. By the 50th floor, Jack and Carl were clinging to each other, their faces pale with fear, despite the reassuring lights of the stairwell. Floors 51 to 75, Carl's Tragedies. Finally, it was Carl's turn. He took a deep breath and began with a dramatic sigh. All right, fellas, brace yourselves. I'll start with my saddest story, he said, 
his voice dripping with faux sorrow. Once upon a time, there were three friends, Jack, Eddie, and Carl. They had to climb an ungodly number of stairs, entertaining each other to keep from losing their minds. But the saddest part? That poor soul Carl left the hotel room key in the car. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>